China, welcome back after uh, I think seven months away at this point. I guess, uh, how are you feeling being back on uh, another fight week? Bro, I'm really excited and really happy. Not just because I come back for fight, but for the crowd. I've been fighting for the last four fights, no crowd, very depressed. Now I have the Ipo energy back, so let's smash it. I was going to ask, I mean, some people say, oh, I don't hear the crowd, but you seem like the crowd means something to you, right? Like it's a part of your energy. So do you feel like this is a whole different opportunity for you to have that crowd again? 100%, 100%. The crowd, I feel their energy. They, 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 they motivate me, you know, and I see that people is watching and I want to make the show for them. I want to show them that I'm real, you know. Nice. I know the last result was you know, frustrating for you. I guess what lessons did you take out of that and what have you been focused on in the meantime? Yeah, my last fight wasn't the way that I like to be. You know, I got knocked out. But we fight against the best in the world. It's happened to anyone. Everyone on top 15 have power and skill enough to knock even the champ out, you know. So I've been working really on my boxing, on my defense, all of the skills, right? And... Of course, against all of the techniques in the way that Yoko Telaba fights, so I would get ready for him. Yeah. As you said, you fight the best in the world. You want another one of those guys, um, a dangerous opponent, of course. What do you think about him as a fighter? He's really strong and good wrestling, wild box. Really, he he want to hit you to take your head out. You know, so I watched his last fight. He fell because he, he missed the guy head, and he, he fell. <laughs> it's fucking huge punch, and it's a good match for me, and... Let's have fun. I'm ready for him. He's pretty chaotic and wild in there. And you used to be very chaotic and wild. You've tried to control yourself a little more. But is that going to be hard to do in front of a packed arena and a crowd again? Will it be difficult for you to maintain that composure? Not really. I'm 30 years old now. I'm on my prime. Just start my prime. You know, have a lot of experience. And now I'm fight better than before. Now, every time I fight better, I get involved. I learn. I like to improve. And it's another version of me. I was better and better. Last thing for me, uh, you guys are both very dangerous. Are you expecting this fight to be over pretty quick? Not quick, but I don't think the half is going to decide for us. Johnny, over here outside. Uh, I think I saw a headline this morning about how you had some issue taking CBD oil with the THC over the past few years. What exactly happened? Did you have like a reaction to it? Yeah. The last... Three years I've been being sponsored by them. There's nothing against the CBD. It's just myself, my brain don't react too good. Like may, other people's maybe as well, but my brain, maybe I have a, what's the name? OCDC. The thing OCD? That, yeah, you have hyperactivity or something, no? ADHD. Yeah, ADHD. something like that. And then when I have the CBD, CBD should calm me down. But the little percentage that every CBD have a little bit of THC. The THC fucked me up. I get paranoid, I, I don't trust nobody, I, I can't, I get late for training, I, I don't follow schedule, I get lost, I don't trust nobody, like, fucked my life. And I didn't know that. I was fuck, drug myself for the last three years and I didn't notice. Now I know and I stopped taking, but uh, maybe I used to in the cream, the top, because just for the muscles, good for the muscle, anti-inflammatory, you know, but I don't take it anymore. How did you find out that was the reason? It's because I, <coughs> After Thiago fight, I, I broke my, my foot, my tendons, right? And it was really sore, like, and then I, I like, I've been taking CBD, I said, come on, I, I never feel not if this, uh, I want to feel less pain now, this, let's see if this works. Then I take seven dose more, you know? I overdose a little bit. I should take just one, I, I take seven or five. And then I get fucked, <laughs> fucked. My girlfriend, I have to look after me like a baby. You know, I don't want to she get out of me, like stay away from me. I want to hug her, don't let me alone. Like crazy nightmare. And then I, then after when they take like three, four days to come back. And then I said, something's wrong. This can't be, you know? And then I just stopped after that because it's no healthy for me, you know? What just would, for me. What would happen? Would you hear voices in your head or what would go on? Bro, it's another dimension. It, I believe in things that not happen, you know? Like if I'm out here now and, and this happened, I go, what the fuck does all these people look at me? But this guy is fucking recording me right now. Like I feel very uncomfortable for everybody, you know? Like I don't trust nobody. I don't want to be here. I just want to go away. I don't want to stay here, you know? It's crazy. My confidence gets really low. It's horrible. So that had a direct effect on your performance in the octagon or was it just in training camp? 
Bro, affect my life. My life. 